So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If we've not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can get rich by selling life insurance during the holidays. I'm going to train you, and I'm going to teach you, and I'm going to share with you how you can use the holidays to your advantage to make a ton of money selling life insurance over the phone or in person. If you're a life insurance agent right now, you're probably getting hit with words like this. Call me back after the holidays or get back to me, you know, January 1 or um, I got a lot of presents to buy right now. I can't make a decision. And in this video, I want to share with you how you can take full advantage of the holidays and ultimately teach you how you can get through these three common objections to unlock and make a ton of money during the holiday season. If you don't know who I am, my name is Peter Roberts. I'm co-owner here at Legacy Family Life. We have a life insurance agency doing multiple six figures per month with a small team. And I want to share with you everything that I'm training them to give you guys here in this video so that you can hopefully make more money inside of your own personal business so that you can unlock and really take advantage during these holiday times. So hopefully you can provide a better opportunity for yourself and for your family. And then before I had a life insurance agency, agency. I sold uh, over $500,000 of final expense life insurance on my own pen. And yep, I made a great amount of money during the holidays, through Thanksgiving, through January 1, through December. And I'm going to share with you guys the tools, tactics, and word tracks that I've used in this video that has helped me to hopefully help you. And if you don't you know, want to watch those previous videos, you can see I was doing $40,000, $50,000 per month on my own pen selling final expense. And it's just understanding that, you know, number one is that everyone is always in a position to buy. The mental framework that I've always went to in any sale is that everyone is a buyer. So don't let the holidays throw you off track. So what I wanna share with you is how to get rich selling life insurance during the holidays. There's three common objections that I wanna go over here in today's training that is gonna allow you to under unlock the sales process during the holidays, but ultimately I'm going to share with you how to overcome them with stories, how to help them mitigate their fears, and ultimately how to get through circumstances during the holidays so that you can make money. So first objection I'm gonna teach you to go through is I need to wait until after the holidays. So the reason that someone is telling you that they can't buy the life insurance right now if they have a clear need for is that they need to wait until after the holidays. And I want to share with you right now the way to get over this objection. One of the best ways to handle this objection is with storytelling. Now with any objection handling, the first thing you always have to do is to lower their guard and to help acknowledge their objection. So when Miss Betty is saying, hey Peter, you know, I can't do this. I have to do it after the holidays, call me back. Miss Betty, I totally understand. I mean, with the holidays coming up, I would, you know, I would see how reasonable you are. That, you know, I would totally wait till after the holidays. But let me ask you this. Now, the first way that you can kill this objection is through a story. For example, Miss Betty, you told me earlier that having something in place for your family is pretty important to you. Is that correct? She's going to say yes. Now, Miss, Miss Betty, you know, forgive me for asking, but... Let me just ask you this. You lean in, you have them on the phone. Miss Betty, you know, when you see your family during the holidays, how amazing would it make you feel? And just be honest with me here. If you could just, you know, grab your son, Jimmy, when everyone's eating around the table, when people are opening up the presents and everyone is there enjoying each other's company and you're all sitting around the fire, and you're all looking at each other and just showing how much you love each other. How amazing would it feel if you could grab your son, Jimmy, by the arm and say, hey, Jimmy, I have a present for you. Come here. You pull him in, you pull him into a separate room and you're like, hey, Jimmy, you know, I don't have a lot of money right now or, you know, things are tight on my end. But as your mother, as your father, Jimmy, I just want you to know you are loved and I care about you. And one thing that I did for you during the holiday season was that I was able to provide a life insurance policy in my name that's me passed to you so that you no longer have to worry about my burial expenses, that you know that you no longer have to pay for the house. I got that for you. Miss Betty, how would that make you feel knowing that you could do that for your son during the holiday season? So you guys can hear kind of how in depth and how visual and how vivid that story is, but use right now storytelling to get through that objection. Paint that picture. How would that make you feel? Oh, that would make me feel great. So you would say that, you know, that would kind of ease the burdens for you here, Miss Betty. That would probably provide some type of peace of mind for you knowing that you could do that during the holidays for your for your son Jimmy you think that would help you sleep better at night question based framework she is going to say yes 
So, Miss Betty, can I just like make a suggestion? I know things are tough, the presents are coming up, you got gifts, holidays can be a nightmare. But right now, when you have a second, and right now when it's at the forefront of your brain, you know, how about we put the solution in place so that ultimately one of the best presents that you can give your son Jimmy during the holiday season is a life insurance policy. Does that sound fair? And then she's in. So the first objection is, you know, I need to wait until after the holidays. They're going to delay it for some reason. You want to get to the root, acknowledge the objection. And then secondly, you want to kill that objection by telling a story. Second um, objection that comes up is, you know, it's just too expensive right now. I got too many bills going out. They got the holidays to pay for. I can't afford it right now. I got bills. I got Christmas presents to come up with. I just, I just can't. I don't have the money. Okay. This is a common objection for people who want to continue to procrastinate, to push this off, and here's how you kill it. So, number one, it's, you know, I totally understand. I mean, <laughs> I'm spending a ton of money myself on presents, and, you know, I don't even know how I can pay my electric bill this month. Joke, ha, ha, ha. Okay, gotcha. Guard is down. You see them eye to eye. You're in a clear playing field. Let's go ahead and handle this objection next. Um, they're going to say, yeah, I, I you know, I, I totally understand it's too expensive. I got a lot of bills and things coming up myself, but let me ask you this, Mr. Mr. Peter, do you, do you value having a, a solution in place to make sure your son or your daughter or your parents are no longer burdened with any final expenses or they're not burdened with, you know, these, these large bills if something were to happen to you, God forbid? Yeah, I, you know, I want to make sure they're taken care of, but I can't afford it now. I, I need to get back with you after the holidays and then we can go ahead and progress. Okay. Well, I totally understand for you here. Miss Betty, let me ask you this. What are you going to have to do, you know, next Christmas when you do get the, you know, let's say we wait until the holidays, we get, you know, you know, January 15th, I give you a call, we buy the life insurance and you, and, and what are you going to do Christmas time next year or next January? Is it going to be too expensive? Are you going to have to cancel the policy because you're going to be paying for it and you're going to be buying all the presents? No, it won't. Is she going to say no? No, I'll have the money. Oh, okay. So even though like the holidays and everything next year are going to come up and you're going to have to buy the presents for Chris, and you're going to have to wrap the gifts and, you know, buy these expensive gifts, you're going to still have the money next year, correct, to pay for your premiums. Is that is that what I'm hearing? She's going to say yes. Yeah. So let me just, you know, so it sounds like that, you know, you have all these gifts and presents coming up and it sounds like you're going to be able to keep the premium. So the, the policy, you know, price isn't really the issue. I guess you're more concerned about starting something right now in uncertain times. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay, so Miss Betty, can I make a recommendation? I know this is important to you. You've told me that X, Y, and Z has come up, that you wanna make sure that your son's taken care of, but let me ask you this. How would it make you feel knowing that you had a solution in place? Ah, oh, it'd make me feel great. So you would say that, you know, really, with Christmas presents and things coming up in the future, that it's not really an issue in the future, so it probably is not an issue now. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay, and then you move the ball forward. So what you do in this situation is that when someone says, I need to wait until after the holidays, you help them acknowledge that the holidays are gonna to continue to come up next year, the following year, three years, six years, 10 years down the road. And you ask them, you know, during the holidays next year, do you think you can afford the $79 for your life insurance? Yes, I can. So if you can afford it next holiday, why not afford it now during this holiday? What's going to change? Oh, uh, 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 well, Miss Mr. Peter, if you can't afford it next holiday, I would recommend you don't get the life insurance or we should find an option where you can afford it no matter what, through the Christmas presents, through the holidays, through the, you know, the water heater going out, through, you know, any surprises financially. It's important that we find an option that's comfortable for you every month now and into the future through every holiday. So let me ask you this. Do you think that, you know, $20,000 life insurance is just too expensive for you? Yeah, it is. So. Miss Betty, can I make a recommendation? Can we start with that fifteen thousand for the fifty-three dollars and sixty-three cents, so that you can afford it through every holiday, through every emergency, and ultimately you can sleep better at night knowing that Christmas is coming and I got my son a, a policy in place. Would that make sense for you, knowing that you could have something small and always add to it later down the road? Does that sound fair? And then she's gonna say yes. So the first objection is I need to wait until after the holidays. You kill that by telling a vivid, detailed story about how this gift, how this present could be so beneficial for their family. The second um, is, you know, it's too expensive right now. I have too many bills coming up. I can't really afford it right now. I need to wait till after the holidays. And you help them understand that like the holidays are gonna come up over and over and over again and you just help ease their mind and help them find a solution that's gonna be comfortable and affordable for them every month and every year. 
Um, and the last thing is just the fear. I, I just need to wait. I don't know what's going to change. I got, you know, I got the family coming over. I don't know what bills or expenses are going to happen in, in January 1. Like, I got you know, Social Security changing on me or, like, People are going to use some type of fear during these holidays. There's uncertainty, especially if you're selling to people on a fixed income. They don't, you know, a Christmas present worth $30 can really impact their financial situation. So you want to help understand the fear that they're going through and help understand what they what they are going through. And it's through finding the root, the real problem, the real reason that they are not moving forward. And Miss Betty, during the holidays, I guess from now and until after the holidays, what would you say would be different? You know, let's say you didn't get the life insurance now and you waited till January 1. Like what is going to kind of kind of change for you here? What's the real difference from, you know, putting this off to like I guess starting it in January 1? Oh, well, I'll just have a better understanding of my budget. BS excuse. Or I'll just feel more comfortable because. Okay. Or I just want to make sure I have everything in order. Well, when you say you want to put it off or you have it in your budget or you, you need to kind of think through things through, what specifically do you need to kind of walk through to help educate yourself on if this is a good buying decision for you? Okay, gotcha. Um, X, Y, and Z. Miss Betty, I guess what are you, and you can be honest here for me, the best way to kill fear is to ask this hard question. Miss Betty, if you had to... You know, if you did buy the life insurance today, let's say through the holidays and before January 1, what would you say you were most concerned about purchasing this insurance right now? If you did put the solution in place and right now you were able to buy this and say, hey, I want this life insurance to make sure your son Jimmy's taken care of, what would you be most concerned about with that buying decision? Then you can truly understand. In this lesson of I need to wait or the fear mentality, you need to understand, help ease people's minds, and you need to test them. You need to see where they're at. What are their real concerns? Are they just smoke screening you? Are they just trying to push you off? They are trying to test you. And you just help understand that nothing really circumstantially is going to hold them back, that they can help make a decision today. So right now, if you use the sales training, you can understand and unlock the holidays are an amazing time to make a ton of money because a lot of people are not sellable because people that are being sold don't have this skill set. If you can develop the skills and you have all these people who are all waiting and all waiting and all waiting, and then all of a sudden Peter Roberts calls or you across the screen here calls them and you have these word tracks, you understand how to tell stories, you understand um, how to defeat the circumstances or pushing it out, and you can help them guide them through the fear, you can make a ton of money selling life insurance over the phone. People around their families, people are emotionally bought in, sell and play to their emotions, use their emotions and their stories to help move them to make a decision and ultimately help solve their problem. If they are still looking, they're going to push out in the future. The problem is not solved. Can you as a life insurance agent solve that problem? And if you can solve it over and over and over again, guess what? You'll make a ton of money. Love you guys. Hope this video helped. Hope you increased your skill set and ultimately use this to make more money selling life insurance during the holidays. Love you guys. Take care. Cheers. Bye.